Hey everybody, this is uh, Darren Spader again, Bay Area News Group, Mercury News, East Bay Times, here with Mike Lefkow. Mike, we made it to the finish line, man. Week six. Are you surprised? It's like running half a marathon. <laughs> uh, does it feel like uh, the end of the season, or does it feel like we should keep going for another uh, another 10 weeks, which, which would be the case in the fall? Um, no, it feels like the end of the season, and uh, I, I can hardly wait for the fall season, <laughs> to be honest with you. You're looking forward to it, uh, a little bit of news. I'm looking about... forward to the fall, yeah. That, yeah. We get back uh, to the real thing, some great non-league games and so on. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to go as far as saying the real thing because it's been there's been some pretty good games this this, uh, this spring. But I, I I get what you're saying. Uh, I mean, uh, Vic Galley last weekend told us who he's playing non-league, and man, um, I'm counting the days. I mean, they they open against Sarah, going to play Valley, Wilcox, possibly Folsom. That'll be good. Yeah, it will be. I mean, the thing I'm happiest about now is that the seniors got to play their last year. It was a chance for the colleges to look at some of these players and see if they could help them in, in the future. So that's the one really good thing about this season. All right. Well, the uh, last week's picks, the weekend started off uh, pretty well for me. Uh, I, I uh, had Los Gatos, which rallied from 19 down to beat Wilcox. So we only had four four of the 14 games where we went our separate ways. So uh, those were going to be the ones that were going to decide who had the upper hand going into the final week of our picks competition. And uh, unfortunately for me, uh, you won the other three games. Uh, all close, but you still won. Um, Freedom and Liberty, you won that one. Uh, you won Sacred Heart Prep and Half Moon Bay, and that one went down to the final seconds, correct? Yeah, it was with 35-34, I think it was. Yeah, something crazy, some crazy score. I can't remember what it was, but it was it was wild, and uh, uh, Sacred Heart Prep scored late. And then you also had uh, Oak Grove over Silver Creek, which that turned out to be the case. Uh, we are going to close with a bang. We're going to go... 21 games in our coverage area. 21, Mike. Well, we are bang, so we should uh, go to the bang. Okay, so we're going to go 21, and then we're also going to have a bonus game, and we'll let the viewers know the bonus game at the end of our picks. But let's uh, let's plow through this because we don't want to we don't want to make this too long. So uh, we're going to start off with a Thursday game. Uh, this is a, a league that doesn't get a lot of lot of coverage, but Prospect out of uh, Saratoga is four and zero, going up against Del Mar two and one. Uh, both teams are uh, undefeated in the West Valley Division of the of the Blossom Valley Athletic League. Who you got? I'm gonna go with Prospect. You're gonna go Prospect. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go Prospect to complete the five and zero season too. Uh, this next one is gonna be a tough call. El Cerrito 4-0 on Friday night, going to travel to play De Anza 3-0. De Anza was supposed to play last weekend. I think that game was canceled. Um, I will go first. I am going to take uh, – ooh, it's tough. El Cerrito. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the Gauchos. I think they've got a pretty good team this season. Okay, we got the Battle of Brentwood. Uh, Liberty playing host to Heritage. Both teams uh, have one loss on this uh, on this season. Heritage at four and one, and Liberty at three and one. Both teams have lost to Pittsburgh. Who you got? Well, that's a tough one. And when I flip the coin, I'm going to call Heritage. I'm going to go Liberty on its home field to win that game. I'm taking Liberty. Close. Uh, Leland. At Oak Grove, Leland two and two. You were high on them early in the season. They've since lost two games since you touted uh, touted them. You tooted their horn, and they have uh, they have stumbled ever since. Uh, going up against Oak Grove, which is two and zero. Oh. Who you got? Oak Grove. Oak Grove. Uh, I'm going Oak Grove as well. Um, 
Benicia two and two at Las Lomas one and three. Who you got? I'm going to take Las Lomas in this game. I think they're better than they have played. You know what? I think they're going to close the season strong too. I'm taking Las Lomas. Uh, Kings Academy, Menlo Atherton, Menlo Atherton four and zero. Oh. Kings Academy one and two, but two really really close losses. I'm taking MA on his home field to close out the five and zero oh season. Yeah, I'm going to go with Menlo Atherton as well. All right, um, Mountain View at Wilcox. Mountain View got uh, uh, got a win, I believe, last week after losing to Los Gatos the previous week, and Wilcox coming off the heartbreaking loss where they had the 19 point lead and lost 20 to 19 to Los Gatos. I'm taking Wilcox to bounce back big in in its season finale. Oh yeah, I think the Chargers are going to be fired up and mad. Right. So they will finish four and one, according to both of us. Uh, Palo Alto at two and two, traveling to Los Gatos, which is four and zero, oh, and on the brink of a five and zero oh season. I'm taking the Cats. Yeah, Los Gatos got a really good team this year. This is a this might be a toss up game. Both teams coming off uh, tough losses last week. James Logan losing to. Uh, Bishop O'Dowd, 20 to nothing. That game kind of shocked me that the Colts, who have been scoring a lot of points, uh, came up with a zero. And they will be going up against San Leandro. San Leandro's two and two. Picked up a game late against Monterey Trail, which, uh, you know, the kids got to play an extra game. But, man, Monterey Trail is really good. And Monterey Trail smoked San Leandro. Who you got? I'm going to go with uh, James Logan to bounce back. I think they're going to be a little upset after last week as well. I'm going to take Brad Bowers and San Leandro to win this one. Uh, I think they're going to bounce back. They got, they saw uh, one of the tougher teams in NorCal last week. I think they're going to bounce back this week. Uh, this game, woo, Valley Christian at two and one at St. Francis, two and one. These teams always play close games. Who are you taking? Who am I taking on that one? <laughs> I'm you know, I'm gonna, take, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take St. Francis so to pull you the are too? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with St. Francis to pull the upset. You know what? I'm taking St. Francis. I don't know if I well, I guess you'd call it a slight upset, but I'm taking St. Francis to win that game as well. Um Ballerman at one and two going up against Midi, uh, which uh, I believe is 0 and two, correct? Yeah, and I believe so. game. Uh, maybe playing on its home field against Bellerman. I'll let you pick this one first. I'm going to go with Bellerman. I think they're uh, an improving, pretty decent team. I'm going to take Bellerman as well. Uh, I think they play hard. Um, they, you know, they're going to get better. And I think, uh, I think they will win this game. Uh, Sarah at St. Ignatius. Last year, these teams closed the regular season and St. Ignatius won to claim a share of the league championship with Sarah and Valley Christian. Uh, this year, both teams are undefeated, although Sarah's 4-0 looks to me a little different than St. Ignatius's 3-0. Sorry, Kerry Crowley. Who you got? Wait, oh, I'm going to take Sarah. I think they're a really good team. I don't think it's going to be like 49 to nothing, but I think it'll be a comfortable win for the Padres. Yeah, I think the Padres are going to win by multiple scores, and they will complete the undefeated season. Uh, next door neighbors, literally. I mean, basically, these, these campuses sit right next to one another. Menlo School, 4-0 at Sacred Heart Prep, 4-1. and Me? I like Sacred Heart Prep. I'm going to take Menlo in the upset. That, that would be an upset. To, to go 5-0. and oh. um, Pittsburgh at Antioch. That's the, uh, that's the big game, right? A little big game. A little big game. And it's going to be a big win for Pittsburgh. It's going to be a big win for Pittsburgh. We're, we're both taking Pittsburgh. Um, ooh, neighborhood rivalry here with Lee going for the 5-0 and oh season. Travels down the down the street to play Branham at two and two. 
I'm taking Lee to go five and zero, oh, even though the coach says they, they. I think they only have like twenty players. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Branham. Pull off the upset and spoil <laughs> Lee's undefeated season. You're gonna they're gonna spoil Lee's undefeated season. I'm um, gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna take Branham. I'm gonna take Kyle Padilla's uh, Lee Longhorns. Um. Not, not sure why this game's on the on the menu here, but we'll pick it nonetheless. Uh, Steve Pappen's 76ers of Independence, 3-1, and one, going up against Willow Glen, still searching for its first win at 0-4. I'm going to go Indy, even though they're on the road. Yeah, I'm going to take Independence, but I think that game's going to be a little closer than people think. Okay. Uh, Gunn going for the undefeated season, 4-0 at Cupertino. Two and one. Hmm. That's a tough call. And Cupertino Cupertino plays hard under Chris Oswald. I'm still going to I'm taking Gun. Gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking Gun. All yeah, right. I, I still think Gun pulls that one out. Okay, we have a handful of uh, just a few more games left. Uh, Saturday night, uh, Foothill at Amador Valley, the Battle of Pleasanton, Foothill four and one, Amador one and two. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm, pick, I'm, I'll pick first. I'll pick first. Okay. I'm going to go Foothill to finish out the five and one season. Yeah, I, I think Foothill pulls this one out. I think it's going to be a tight game, though. It will be definitely tight. It uh, would not surprise me if Amador won, to be honest. You know, this, this game. I mean, I was looking at uh, Cal Preps today. I mean, De La Salle is the number one team out of out of NorCal and Cal Preps, although it's only seventh in the state. Um, Clayton Valley Charter um, is is also ranked fifteenth uh, in NorCal, sixty third in the state. They're they're going to be at home to play De La Salle. Uh, sorry, Ugly Eagles. De La Salle will win this game and finish off another, an undefeated season. Yeah, I agree. I think Clayton will come out all fired up and might give him a little bit of a battle. But you know, Early on, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, both teams are going to be fired up. It's the end of the season. Um, you know, it's going to be kind of probably like a bowl game for both teams. Um, when's the last I, – I should have looked before we got on the call here, the De La Salle's last undefeated season. What the twenty fifth was the twenty fifteen team undefeated? The one that won state? Probably. I'd have to look that up. I probably yeah. Probably, probably. Uh, okay, just uh, three more games, two more games, and then the bonus game. Ooh, tough one. Uh, this team to me is probably the best two and three team in the Bay Area. You you know who that is? Can you guess? California. California, going up on the road to four and one. Akalani's. <laughs> that's a that's a great matchup. <laughs> that's a good matchup. I mean, you're coming. You're getting two well coached teams, two good quarterbacks. That would be a fun game. That me first. Uh, I'll go first. I'm gonna take. Right. I'm gonna take. Oh man. I'm gonna take California. I'm gonna take. Aquilani's in this one. Close. Oh, I think it's going to be right down to the right down to the wire. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have on the list? Oh, here's probably the best zero and five team in the Bay Area. <laughs> Monta Vista at home against San Ramon Valley. <laughs> you first. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. You talk about a trap game. This is the, <laughs> it's the last game of the season. How's that how's a trap game? Well, because... Uh, There's no more games. Yeah, but there's still... It's because San Ramon, if they... If, if the Wolves lost this game, I mean, their rankings would go down quickly. I, I, I These two teams, this is a huge rivalry. And <laughs> I... This is a total... I'm going to stick with SRB just because they maybe play a little better than Monta Vista has this season, but this is this is going to be a close battle. 
Does this make one of us the season if it wins to go to one and five and beats the beat the Wolves? I think they'll feel a lot better about themselves. I mean, it's obviously disappointing when you're one and five, but at least you. I yeah. think after last week, where Monta Vista laid an egg uh, at home, right? Who did they play last week? I can't even remember. You remember they got beat pretty soundly. Yeah, they played. Um, oh, Jesuit. They Jesuit, didn't they? Jesuit beat them fifty-one to twenty. 51 to 20. Oh, man. Um, I mean, everything about this tells me to take the Wolves. I'm going to take Monta Vista to go one and five. That's not a bad pick. Like I said, I, I think it's a one-score game. All right. And the last game on our list is a Southern California game, the bonus game. St. John Bosco, 5-0, Modern Day, 4-0, Santa Ana Stadium, Saturday night, one versus two. I'll let you pick first. I'm going to say exactly what I said before we got on this thing. <laughs> I hope you play to a 0-0 tie. <laughs> You're not a big fan of either. No, I'm not. I, I think that they're playing a level of football that – not even, I mean, it's like IMG. And They're IMG. Is that what I'm you're like saying? I'm when I say that, but that's fine. Um, they play at a high level. What's that? They play at a high level. There okay. are a lot more people in Southern California than there are in Northern California. Yeah, and they, they also get, got, the, they got that top player from Stockton. They got one of the kids from San Ramon Valley. I mean, well, maybe, maybe they maybe they should look for the what is it the however many million or was it fourteen million in the Southern California basin somewhere like that. Why do they have to get kids from up here or from that's, other that's parts? That's true. Of the okay, well then you've made your point. So who are you taking? Are you taking a tie? Do I get to pick a winner and you take a tie? No, no, I'll pick uh, I'll pick St. John Bosco this year. I'm going to take modern day. All right. Close. Uh, I'm going to have to go through this to see who all we pick because that was a lot of games. Uh, right now, you hold a two-game advantage. What were your thoughts after last week? I mean, to, to win those, those squeakers and to, to reclaim your, your advantage. Well, I mean, obviously, I was happy. I mean, some of the games that we picked differently, you know, a lot of those were just toss-up games. And so you're – you're guessing and you hope you guess right. Um, right. I mean, it's some of those games, like I said, it's anybody. You, you looked at, uh, what was it, the uh, Freedom Liberty game? Yep. I mean, that was, that was a coin toss in my mind. Right. Same with um, Sacred Heart Prep Half Moon Bay. Yeah. And uh, what was the, oh, Los Gatos Wilcox? <laughs> well, that one, frankly, that, that kind of surprised me. Come on, man. You know, Mark Crail Mar 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 watches this. And he doesn't want to hear that you were surprised that they won the game. No, no. I mean, all credit to Los Gatos. I think they're a really good team, a really good program. And that comeback was the comeback of the year. But when Jim Mike Wilcox is up 19 to nothing, he at home. Win. At home, yeah. <laughs> they got to win that game. Well, I mean, you think they're going to win it. Uh, before we wrap up, I mean, how about them cats? They beat uh, the baseball team, beat Valley Christian yesterday, thirteen to three. I saw that. That was a pretty good drubbing. That is a pretty yeah, good win. Nice uh, sports season, aren't they? Not a, not a bad. They were waiting. They were waiting for for the the green light. Um, check out our coverage, MercuryNews.com, EastBayTimes.com. Sign up for a digital subscription, uh, ninety nine cents for three months. Um, that's all for me. Do you have anything else? No, no. It's been uh, an interesting year, and uh, hopefully the uh, the final weekend will go out with a bang. Sweet. Uh, we will wrap this up.